सब्सक्राइब कीजिए हमारे चैनल बी डी को और घंटे के आइकन पर दबाइए हमारी लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए समथिंग गिकी से समथिंग न्यू Hey guys, this is Bidna Nate here, and today I'm back with another Pokemon episode for you guys. So guys, <laughs> in my last video I said that Nate doesn't doing anything for Pokemon Go trainers, Pokemon Go players. Well, I just need to take back my words because as Nate just blasted up themselves with some huge upcoming events in Pokemon Go. First update is the gym rework is updated in Pokemon Go and. Actually, there is no official date for Pokemon Go Gym Rework to be released, but they confirm that this release will come in the end of June. So, as I say, the first 0.63.4 updates were was a maintain a maintenance update because Niantic has coming a lot of things in Pokemon Go back, and it will be great fun in Pokemon Go. So, we know that Gym Rework is coming, but what are in this Gym Rework? What things? you need to know about gym reworks first of all through various instances of data mining and through niantic official posts and statements here's everything i know about the upcoming pokemon go gym rework first point you have to ready for the gym raids thanks to the uh, magic of data mining we now know uh, that the following mechanics that the part of the upcoming the first one raid encounters will randomly take place in your local area great second update pokemon will get hungry while fighting so when it gets hungry while fighting you need to feed them berry to give them power third update real time notifications will let you know that a raid is happening nearby as we know the previous pictures that there is a sign that there is a gym raid nearby image as we found earlier and yes it's happening finally in pokemon go the list of notifications on the next screen that these features were first discovered in the app's network traffic and later confirmed on our 0.63.1 data mine as you guys can see in this picture activity defeat raid pokemon activity feed berry activity search gym it's not yet clear what effect will feeding your pokemon have but it is speculated that pokemon hunger will be used to tk stagnant gyms interestingly the search gym activity is also a mystery currently real time notifications so real time alerts push notifications will be used to notify players that a raid is taking place in their vicinity same technology is used to alert trainers about the status of their pokemon so pokemon is hungry pokemon is uh, you know what gym rework notifications pokemon needs me pick up once a berry and some other things third update list of same species pokemon in the gym together with the new raid features discovered in the 63.1 apk uh, one balance change was also be found Niantic is limiting the number of same species Pokemon that can be deployed in a single gym in an effort to fight pure blissy gyms a gym full of blisses 10 blisses in a gym you can't beat the gym as we all know players will soon be limited to have only one or two of the same Pokemon species in a gym so that's a great news because if a gym has contains 10 blisses then it's completely impossible to defeat it but there's a limit in that update that Niantic has shown to us that there will be one or two of the same species can be available in the gym. So it's a great news. Also, guys, do, to the gym rework is started, you guys will not be able to uh, make move your Pokemon's left that gym. It they will be returned to the trainers. It means if you left a Pokemon in a gym as the guardian, then it will be teleport you back or revert you back to the trainers to you because the gyms were resetting the gyms were properly be reset for this gym reworks and you will have to be i think uh, you will have to put a new pokemon in the gyms and something has changed in gyms so because niantic changing the gym reworks they are resetting the gyms and the pokemon which are in this gym will be revert back to the trainers until the gym rework is finished and after that you need to put them back again the gyms uh, to gain the kinds of Pokemon Go. 
And guys, the Pokemon Go uh, Fire and Ice event has officially confirmed by Team Evolutions. It's a great news and it's officially released by uh, the Niantic, the Pokemon company. And they said, yeah, Team Evolutions are again 100% accurate to their league news. So this is called uh, the Grand Solistice, the Pokemon Go Fire and Ice event. And it's officially uh, coming on June 13. Uh, so it's possible to obtain several high tier gym attackers and to invest in future generations. In this guide, we'll be focusing on collecting a large number of relevant candy, not on farming experience. So, guys, in this update, as I told earlier, the rocks, the uh, fire types, and ice type spawns are increased. Also, you will get uh, extra bonuses for a uh, uh, great throw, excellent throw, or a nice throw, uh, nice throw, and also for curveball. And also, you will get 2x XP for this event. And lucky eggs are on 50% discount on the game shop. So let me just go to a little future here. So Pokemons that evolve in future generations. First one I want to share about Magmar. Magmar evolves into Magmortar which is a fire type and it's in generation 4 making it one of the most best fire Pokemon in game on gen 4 lands. Number 2 Sneasel evolves into Wevile which is a dark and ice type Pokemon in generation 4 making it a very lucrative catch during this event we expect Wevile to cost at least 50 Sneasel candy to evolve. Swinub and Pillow Swine. Pillow Swine evolves into a Mammoth Swine in Generation 4, which is a ground and ass type Pokemon. Make sure to stock up on Swinub candy as it will be very useful in the future. Other important catchers Growlithe, Charmander, Cyndaquil. Although there is not a lot difference between this Pokemon in terms of their role in meta, we believe they will become relevant once the gym rework lands, so keep an eye on them. Eevee, Flareon and Espeon are one of the highest rated glass cannons. So Eevee is, the, is a very important catch this event. Do note that Eevee is not yet confirmed as an increased spawn, but Flareon is featured on the official event artwork. So fire and ice even increase spawn. First one I want to take, I want to talk about the rare fire fire type spawns. Though the fire spawns are Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, Bulfix, Ninetales, Growlithe, Arcanine, Ponyta, Rapidash, Eevee, Flareon, Magmar, Cyndaquil, Quilava, Typlosian, Houndor, Houndum, Slugma, and Macargo. And the increased ice type spawns during this statistic event is Seal. Dugong, Shelter, Cloister, Jinx, Lapras, Sneasel, Swinup, and Pillow Swine. So this is what the influx is coming up and the fire event is officially confirmed. So it's a great news for us. Catch those Pokemon and save your candies moon in generation 4. This kind of Pokemon like Magmar, uh, Magmar, Swinup, Sneasel, and Pillow Swine can evolve to a real treat for every Pokemon in the gyms. So guys now it's time for the most big update is the legendary update in Pokemon Go. As we all know the Niantic's marketing leader Archit Vargava has said that this summer will be legendary. So I think uh, probably the 22nd of June the annual anniversary of Pokemon Go. Pokemon Go completed one year that time and in 22nd June I think there will be something for the legendary Pokemon so I don't know yet quite clearly something event a Pokemon Fest is going on in Chicago it's the first event that Niantic is doing they will do more until uh, September so uh, yeah just waiting for that events uh, but in that event as Niantic showing the Pokemon Go Fest picture you guys can see there's a hit across and there are two new forms of unknowns has been secretly added in that picture I don't know what the fuck is doing Heracross is doing there because Heracross we all know is a regional Pokemon and it will not be found in Chicago or something like area but in unknown there are two new forms of unknown has been added the first one is the exclamation mark unknown the second one is the question mark unknown the two types unknown are added so now it's total 28 types of unknown in Pokemon Go Heracross we all know is, uh, is a regional Pokemon so I don't know what we are Her Heracross is doing it up that in, the, in this picture but I think in Chicago the Pokemon fest is going on you can book your tickets up there for more link you can check description there's a full info about that in pokemon go fest so yeah maybe that uh, the players who, who, who go to that area like reversal mystic seven uh trainer trips they both are going in that events but i can't go there because it's a real 
real big travel for me but can't do that at this moment so uh, they are going there you guys get, get, get can get that update from themselves they will be updating everything in that event so what they will find what pokemon are up there so yep it's a great event update uh, for pokemon go New items and new Niantic sponsor stop are appeared in now London and New York City. Well, following the series of Pokemon Go advertisements that recently appeared in London, a number of sponsored Pokestops have also appeared in New York City and London. As discovered in the 63.1 APK data mine, the new Pokestops are sponsored by Naya Ops, which stands for Niantic Operatives. This marks the first time Niantic has created their own sponsored Pokestops. The new sponsored stop seems to be all the locations where the Pokemon Go ads are. This includes those at underground stations and those on bus stops around London. First one we see in New York City. As you guys can see in this picture, the New York City Pokestop by Niantic has got Snorlax and Venusaur, and the second one in London has got Charizard and Blastoise. So, Nineteen is stopping their thing, they are advertise, advertising themselves in the Pokemon Go and also there are some pictures added in their malls and some things in Britain so it's a great ongoing Pokemon Go event. This update is for those guys who are still playing Magic Rub Jump as a time pass game. So guys let you know that the Magic Rub Jump is updated to version 1.1.0 for iOS and the Android devices and brings a lot of quite changes in this app. You can now challenge the Hill League, you can now fish up a new patterns of Magic Rub, new support Pokemon, Greninja and Gengar are added, new events has been added and new decorations have been added to the Diamond Shop. Hill League now allows you to complete from 5 to 135 meter jump power and expert league has been updated with higher values two new decorations were added to increase decoration variety the new events are unlocked by fi uh, by finishing the hill league and a new few conditions brown and apricot magical patterns are now also be available those people who are will who will use ios 11 in future they will get a lot of new thing in Pokemon Go with the Pokemon Go Air Kit which will be working on iOS 11 and it contains really great things. So uh, in this uh, Air Kit upgrade that, nine, uh, that uh, the Apple showed up that this only works with iOS 11 devices and if your device has a requirement of a9 or a10 processor anything better than an iphone 6s and se will be capable of running it uh, this technology is new and it will probably be a better huge battery range so be aware on that side but this is for only ios 11 users in this update you can uh, feel the pokemon going real world with the new pictures you can uh, say that pikachu in this image that pikachu grows bigger smaller depending on your actual distances spawn points you can actually walk around or towards or away from Pikachu. Pokeball collusion now depends on both of the positions of the model and orientation of, uh, of the plane. So it's a app that is app that is developed by uh, the uh, iOS team and you guys can see it's only based for Pokemon Go that is Air Kit works well in Pokemon Go to virtual world to see the real world in reality in uh, and the world looks awesome so you guys can check out that video of pokemon go air cage official release it's in description if you guys wanted to check it out you can check it from there so guys uh, this is the updates of pokemon go that i wanted to share there are a lot of things happening in pokemon go as i said in first my first video that niantic is nothing doing about pokemon go just sitting up on their ass but i think niantic has made their move they're going to gym reworks legendary pokemons fire and ice event double xp everything is going on in pokemon go so it's came back again i think a lot of players who left pokemon go for the normal gameplay they will like come back to pokemon go for playing with these events so guys thanks for watching this video give a like on this video if you like this and subscribe to my channel for more pokemon go updates thanks for watching have a nice day take care i'll be back with my next video till then goodbye